I'm going to show you how to do a push notification on Android. We'll need to create a project at Convey, so we'll go to our Convey a console, and we'll create a new project, and we'll call this our Android push uh, demo. We'll choose other, and we're going to use the REST API. So we'll create the back end for that new app, and we've got a, an app key, app secret, and master secret for this new project. We'll go to add-ons, and for this app, we'll select push under messaging. Project number, and we need to specify the an app key from the Google Developer Console, so we'll save that. And then we need to go and create a, a user. So we'll go over to the XZ6 IDE, and we'll create an Android push example and add this to our project group. So we'll add a new project. We're going to do a Object Pascal mobile application. We'll make it a blank application. We'll put in the, the Convey provider. And under Android Push, we need to specify the Google Cloud messaging app ID. And then for Convey, the app key the app secret, the master secret, and the username, and the password. We'll put in a toolbar, and this will be, uh, we'll put a label in it, align that able to the contents of the toolbar, and this is our Android push convey, convey, or Apple push convey uh, object Pascal, and let's align this to the center. And then we'll put a memo. And we'll align that to the rest of the client area. And then we'll drop down a T push event. All right, now we just, like we did before for parse an iOS and can convey an iOS, we'll hook the four events in the tpush events component, and we'll output the code. In this case, we want to get the GCM, Global Cloud Messaging message. We want to test to see if we've got the startup notification, and then we'll output the GCM message string, and then go and look for any extras that might be available and dump those out as well. So we've got our user interface and we've got our event handlers for the push events. And then we need to go in and modify the Android manifest template. So we'll go and add the manifest template to our project so that it's there. And we need to add a few lines in the permissions section. And then in the doc wiki for creating the application as part of the tutorial using remote notifications, iOS and Android, we've got the lines of code that we need to insert in the users permission area. So we'll just copy those and we'll paste them. And it says the permission, we're gonna use the internet. GCM requires an Android account. This will keep the processor from sleeping when a message is received. We'll set wake lock and then set the permission to receive message. And it can receive data messages as well. And then down in the activity section, we've got the notification alarm. And we need to add code for registering the receiver class. And finally, and add, this, add a service as well. Let's make sure that our target platform is set to Android. Okay, so after I've set up the provider uh, for Android push, and I've got my push events hooked, uh, we've got all those set. Uh, here's the push received again, where I'm dumping out the message that comes to me in the data. I also dump out if there's any extras. Um, 
that are part of the push data. We'll get the key and the value pair for those. I've hooked the form activate, but we could have had on create form where I'll get the push event startup notification data if it exists. If I started the application um, from the alert, if I started the application from the push notification, then I'll dump out the Google Cloud messaging message and the extras through the startup notification in the push event. So let's go and uh, set the target platform. And I've got my Nexus 7 here. And now you'll see that my device has been registered. It got the device token received. So we can go back to convey. Let's send a push. Here's hello from convey. We'll send the push notification and switch back. And here comes the hello from convey. And the extras are from the GCM ID, and there was a second key called a collapse key, whatever that key value pair might be used for uh, coming from Convey. So that's how easy it is to add Convey Android push event support. So now we'll kick the app out of memory, and we'll go back to Convey, and we'll say hello from Convey. push notification to closed app. We'll send the push notification, and there's the closed app. When the app launches, we get hello from convey, push notification to closed app. It came from, here's a wake lock ID, some extras that also are displayed. So there's convey-based push notification for both an app that's running, and also if it's in the background. And then finally, if it's closed and you get the notification, 